It all started hours after a state law hit the books, giving cities the power to decide the fate of their war monuments. And you know the former Confederate capital has no shortage of them. Five of them dot Richmond's famed Monument Avenue. But the wrought iron and marble that make up the road's namesake will soon take on a new evolution. Angelo Vargas starts us off in Richmond. A final goodbye to the Stonewall Jackson Confederate Monument. Many stood in unity to watch it finally be taken down. It's a game changer for Richmond, I'll be honest. I'm excited to see uh, what's next. Liz Carr lives down the street from the Monument of the Confederate General. And I was actually getting like close to moving. I was like, this is this city is not safe anymore. And then like this was like a beacon of hope that like Richmond can still be a safe and accepting city. Maya Stiles started her morning waiting for the statue to come down too. She says it's a step forward, but believes more needs to be done. Like they treat the statue way better than they treat a human being. As you can see, they had a statue laying on tires and all types of things. They basically let the statue up five different times. And I felt like you letting the statue up five different times, but you had a man on the ground begging for his life. The Stonewall Jackson Confederate statue is just one of four the city of Richmond owns. Richmond Mayor LeVar Stoney executed an emergency order to take down all the Confederate statues for public safety and to change Richmond's history of being a former capital of the Confederacy. Mayor Stoney says the removal of the statue will take a few days. The statues will stay in storage for now. A public hearing date still needs to be set on what will happen to these statues in Richmond. Angelo Vargas, 13 News Now. Angelo, thank you. So what about the other monuments? Good question. Richmond's mayor says the remaining Confederate statues will also come down. And when that happens, trust us to let you know about it. And don't forget, Daybreak picks up our coverage on this still developing story. They start at 4.30 a.m.